Hello, it's your art teacher, Ms. Barnett, and this week in class we've been talking about mixing colors, the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And we've also talked about the color wheel. Remember, a color wheel is an artist tool which has the colors of the rainbow in rainbow order. So, Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, and indigo. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a little experimenting and exploration um, using our line print paper from last class. So I hope you held on to this because we're going to be filling in the white space with paint today. You're also going to need a palette if you're using tempera paint, which I'll be demonstrating today. If you don't have tempera paint at home, you can use watercolors. It's a good um, secondary choice. Uh, the colors won't be quite as vibrant and dark, so just use a little bit less water when you're mixing. And remember to tickle your uh, watercolors with your brush friends. Um, if you don't have either of those, you can use um, crayons and, you, and mix the colors, blend the colors together like I've shown you in previous lessons. So three different ways you can mix color, tempera paint, watercolor, or crayons. So um, if you're using the tempera paint, like I said, you're going to want a palette or a paper plate to mix on. Um, you'll also need, if you're painting, a water cup and a brush. And that's it. So get your materials together and meet me back here and we'll get started. All right, families, I went ahead and used a little bit of tape to tape the uh, line print down to my table. As always, if you're worried about making a mess, you can put newspaper underneath your um, paper. And we're going to start off with the color yellow today. So using my brush, swish, swish, wipe the extra wa water off. Do not tap the brush. It makes a big mess. You're going to pick up a little bit of yellow on your brush, just like this. And we're going to pick a paper, a area on our paper to start painting. You can pick wherever you want on your picture. Try not to copy me exactly. You can get inspiration from me, but don't copy me. That's so boring. And you are amazing artists that have amazing imaginations of your own. Awesome. Now let's put a little bit of paint, more yellow paint, in another place on our paper. And then I'm going to We're going to use um, each color in more than one place in your painting. Remember how the Masterwork um, by Delaney we looked at earlier used lots of colors in many different places. Excellent. Swish, swish, wipe our brush, clean it really good. And I'm gonna go get some red paint and add that to our palette. This is going to be your red paint source. We're not going to mix other colors into this red. Parents are only going to want to give about a dime size amount of paint. So swish swish wipe your brush again. Let's pick up some red. And let's mix the red into the yellow and see what colors we make. We want to make sure we don't leave any streaks in the paint which means we don't want to see. Ooh, what color, this is beautiful. Do you recognize that color, Franz? It's orange, anaranjado. Oh, mucho bonito, so pretty. So yellow and red when mixed together make orange, so cool. All right, let's paint more, another area yellow and red, orange. Okay, 
intensity. Let's look at my new color compared to yellow. What can we name this new color? Orange. Let's make three different oranges. Let's make a yellow orange. So let's put some yellow on our paper. And just a tiny, tiny bit of red. Take this yellow and add it right here. I wonder what'll happen if we add even more red this time. It looks like orange to me, friends. Let's pick up a little bit more yellow. I wonder what'll happen if we add a lot of red. Let's take a little bit more red and add that to it. So pretty. Yellow, orange, orange, red, orange. Great job, friends. Let's wash our brush and wipe, and let's put just some red on our paper. You're doing a great job. Be careful not to paint over your black lines, guys. Cool. Now let's add some blue to our palette. Blue is the strongest of the primary colors and can overpower all the other colors. Let's take some blue and mix it in one of our red spots. Ooh, what color is this, friends? What could we name this color? Kind of looks like a red purple to me. Let's do a little bit more purple in a blue spot and see what happens. Or blue in a red spot and see what happens. Oh yeah, blue is super strong. See how it overpowered the red? That looks like purple. And let's add a place with blue. Let's add just a tiny touch of red. That's blue, purple. Good job. Let's wash our brush. Swish, swish, wipe. And let's add, let's just paint some blue spots. Here 
you're doing beautiful work, guys. I cannot wait to see how your paintings turn out. Okay, we've got some blue spots painted on our paper. What secondary color hasn't been mixed yet? Let's see, we've mixed yellow and red, and red and blue. What two colors haven't we mixed? Ah, yellow and blue. Let's add some, oops, let's add, swish, swish, wipe our brush. Let's pick up some a little bit of yellow and see what happens when we mix it into blue. Ooh, that's making a very pretty color. Does anybody know what the name of this color is? It's green. This looks almost like a blue-green to me. Let's see what happens if we add more yellow to a green spot. I mean, more yellow to a blue spot. That looks like green. Let's add a little bit more. Add a lot of yellow to this spot. Ooh, yellow green, how pretty. Add a little bit more yellow on. Remember blue is the strongest color, so you're gonna have to add a little bit more of the other colors to make it show up. All right, we've made so many pretty colors. Let's see, we've made red, we've made yellow and blue, the primary colors. We have made orange, yellow orange, and red orange. We have yellow orange, orange, and red orange. We have made blue purple, purple, and red purple, green, blue green, and yellow green. Let's take some time and finish painting our picture. I'll go ahead and speed lapse my video so you can watch me work and you just keep working. All right, my friends, here is my completed color mixing painting project. I hope you had just as much exploring, fun exploring colors as I did. Um, you don't have to fill up your whole paper. I went ahead and did so, but I hope you have just as much fun. I'll talk to you guys later, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!